This program is specifically designed to be viewed by adults and may be unsuitable for children under the age 17. Viewer discretion advised. The materials provided in this presentation and any comments or information provided by the presenter are for educational purposes only and nothing conveyed or provided should be considered legal, accounting, or tax advice. Please contact your own attorney, accountant, or tax professional with any specific questions you have related to the information provided that are legal, accounting, or tax nature. All copyrights and trademarks of images belong to their respective intellectual property owners and are used under fair use for educational purposes. Funnel to Success by Nathaniel Omar Welcome, friends, family members, and guests to the Funnel of Success Quick Meeting. This meeting will run 10 to 12 minutes. This meeting covers how to funnel a small portion of your labor income through a system that provides downside protection and upside potential on your liquid assets. Let's get started. Here's what's in today's agenda. Today's agenda will cover the money supply in the United States, the proper asset risk and return appetite for each individual, our current interest rate environment. We'll cover what the bank, government, corporations are offering in interest rates, alternative asset pools for your money, and how advantageous asset pools work. And we'll finish with some closing remarks. Let's get started. Before we dive deep into the presentation, it's important to know how much money is out on the street. According to the Federal Reserve in St. Louis, the United States households hold a huge buildup of cash in currency outside the U.S. Treasury and Federal Reserve system, demand deposits, checkable deposits, money market deposit accounts, retail money market mutual funds, and institutional money funds. This is really important because the vast majority of people do not hold this money. It's a few that are holding back really 21.35 trillion dollars in money supply when this money hits the street it will cause serious inflation which means that the prices of goods and services will go up as these dollars move into circulation so get ready for it before you put your hard-earned money on the street you need to know what your appetite for risk are you need to know if you have a low or high risk appetite if you don't know what that is, you need to determine what that is quickly. Secondly, you need to know how much you need to earn in interest and dollars to meet your short-term and long-term financial goals. Ultimately, this will determine what type of risk you have to take on in order to meet your goals. Let's take a look at it. U.S. bank products offer low risk, uh, but very low returns. As you can see, the bank yields are less than 1%. So when we see 0 0.05, 0 0.04, 0 0.08, and 0.19 on a one-year CD, we can determine that that's literally 5% of 1%. Interest checking is 0.4% of 1%, 8% of 1%. 19% of 1%. These are anemic rates. They do not even meet the national inflation rate. Is this a good place to put your money? The same applies to U.S. Treasury bonds. They're a safe place to put your money, but the rates are just really disrespectful. When you look at the three-month, six-month, one-year, two-year, five-year, and ten-year bond for federal treasury bonds, this is just disrespectful. The rates are less than 1%. They don't even meet inflation. We're talking about 9% of 1% on a three month. We're talking about on a one year, we're looking at 11% of 1%, a two year, 13% of 1%, a five year, 27% of 1%. This is really disrespectful to savers. The low savings rate applies to the public bond market as well. The public finance bond market, when we look at one and two year and five year bond rates on average, they're less than 1%. We're talking about a one year bond uh, at 13% of 1%, a two year at 15% of 1%, and a five year at 29% of 1%. These rates are really disgusting. I, I don't mean to say it like that, but they're disrespectful to savers. How can you save when the interest rates on these products are less than what you would pay in inflation? Normally, when you're in a low interest rate environment and the banks, the public finance and the U.S. Treasury market rates are so low, money normally flows into stock equity markets. Let's take a look at it a little bit. Here's 15 equity indexes, so we're going to dive a little bit deeper into it. Let's look. 
When we look at the U.S. equity markets, we look at the Dow Jones Industrial, the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, and the Russell 2000. All of these are different indexes in the United States that are, that are primarily positioned and we hear a lot about. But look at the one year on the Dow Jones, which is an index of 30 companies. We're talking about 0.75% of 1%. We're looking at the S&P 500. It's actually up 10.5% for this year. The NASDAQ, which is primarily dominated by tech stocks, is up 35%. And the Russell 2000 is an index of small cap companies, and it's down 4.85%. Now, over a five-year period, they're up pretty significantly, but most people that have small denominations of money are looking month to month, quarter to quarter, year to year for investment returns or asset liquidity. So let's look at some more. Now we saw the US market, now we're looking at the European stock equity market. As we can see, only the index in Copenhagen, Denmark, is really doing well. It's up 28% this year compared to all the other equity index returns from Berlin, London, Paris, the European Union, and in Sweden. Let's take a look at some more equity indexes. Now moving into the Asian equity market, savers can dump their money into Shanghai, Tokyo, or Hong Kong. As we can see, Hong Kong is actually down almost 11% for this year, and Shanghai, China, is really doing the best out of the Asian markets. Over a five-year, we can see that the Nikkei 225 in Japan is actually doing pretty well over a five-year, but if you take 30 and divide it by five, you're getting a 6% return on average. So is that the return that you need for your assets in order to meet your short-term and long-term goals? Let's move into some other markets. Now we jump to the Latin markets in Mexico, Brazil, and Argentina. And between the three, we can see that Argentina is having the best year. So what's the likelihood that we may see a liquidation of the Argentina market next year or before the end of this year? Now listen, we've reviewed the rates from banks, U.S. Treasury, public bonds, stock equities. You do have some other options. It starts with knowing what those options are. You don't have to feel like you're stuck with government, public and bank rate products that don't pay you enough interest to satisfy the national inflation rate. Let's talk a little bit about what some of those options may be for you. Listen, Community 2612 single purpose is to create a main street lending facility for marginalized groups of people in the United States and territories using a gifting platform to practice group economics. This is not just another job or multi-level marketing or some networking system that requires you to purchase inventory or have employees. You don't have to make no large upfront investment. You don't need a license or degree. You get an opportunity to work from home part-time, full-time, or anytime and make some money and get some large returns. All you have to do is share an invitation for a quick conversation about economic elevation. That's it. Listen, once you share some quick information about economic elevation with a couple of friends and drop $200 into the community, you get $1,600 back and gifts from other members. With the Community Economic Organization, one, you receive gifts to help reduce your expenses and increase your capacity to generate wealth, and then you repeat the participation process again. When you decide to move forward with gifting, there are some legal and tax rules that you need to know. The IRS allows you to exclude $15,000 in donations from your income each and every year without a tax liability, and the donor normally picks up the tab. From a business legal standpoint, pyramids are illegal. We do not practice pyramid schemes or scams. We exchange a service in lieu of a donation that is tax deductible. We do not require anyone to recruit others. We encourage our members to share and connect. Members can receive a refund for services after 60 days. Thank you for taking this educational journey with me today. Until next time, this is Nathaniel Omar signing off. Thank you for attending this short informational meeting. We would be honored if you joined our community today. To join our community, we need to get you registered. Please text 520-352-9977. Again, please text 520-352-9977. Include in the text your first and last name and the name of the person who referred you. And please spread the message to your family and friends. And I leave you by saying thank you and have a wonderful day from Community 2612.